Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Look Out. Oh, here you see your field that I have been vertically cutting. There's quite some thatch and moss onto it. Uh, I plan to break it all by hand. I also thought, why not use the rotor brush to do some coarse cleaning? And I think it uh, works reasonable. It's not perfect, I know, but it's, uh, it helps to clean it up a little bit. And then the rigging by hand goes uh, easier and faster. So I will continue to bring it a little bit more together and then rig it up by hand after that. Hekebe rotor brush mounted at the front of the Kubota using the sod brush, it was much easier to clean the whole field from thatch and moss and line it up in one line so it could be easier raked up into piles and clean it up from the field. So everything has been lined up, so I will now use the hand rake to create small piles that I can take up with the bucket. That's still hand work, of course, but uh, it's nice weather, so good to do it. After creating piles, all the moss and thatch can be picked up by the bucket and removed one by one. And in the areas that have already been cleaned, you can clearly see the grass growing back again. Here's the rainworm that I always take out because they're the real compost makers and I want them to be here in the field doing their work. So you see, rotor brush can also be used for this type of cleaning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>